Hi folks, and welcome to more Dominion Seaside. Alright. Hmm. Well, what do I have here? We don't have trash in. So... Uh, that's bad. And we have Ghost Ship. Which is... Uh, the most important card on the board, I think. Alright. Well, uh, I'd say gonna open a sewer and a caravan. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get some caravans. Caravans, caravan is always you know they are always nice to have. Sometimes it's just uh, there is something stronger you really want to get, but caravans they're good. You know mm, if you have some of them, it's it, they are pretty much mm, helpful to every every deck. So one thing you might, yeah, I, I think I want smugglers here, unless my opponent will, you know, <laughs> pile the navigators. Uh, smugglers is going to be a good card because you want a lot of bazaars and ghost ships, basically. Smugglers is a weird one uh, here because if my opponent is going to buy like a lot of, uh, I don't know, cards I don't want, then smugglers is going to be a bad card for me. So uh, smugglers, as, uh, the better my opponent is, the better smugglers is as a card. Yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and take the ghost ship, and we're gonna want a lot of those and a lot of bazaars. And actually, uh, if I see that my opponent, okay, my opponent takes the smuggles the ghost ship from me, which is good for them, and they take another navigator. Why? Why? It's such a bad card. Um, I can take second ghost ship, but I'd rather take the bazaar. Yeah, we we need we need villages basically, and my opponent smugglers, you know, do some job here definitely. I'll take another caravan. They take another smugglers. So I also pick up a native village here. Um, thing is, thing with native village here, I might try to set up the pseudo trashing, because uh, if they're going to play ghost ship. Sometimes I can like top deck a bad card and uh, then set them set them aside and now pick up. It it ain't gonna be too easy to set up this thing, but it's not out of question. All right, here we are being attacked by the ghost ship. Three navigators. Mm, no, and thing is I don't want to sewer. Sewer is a Thing is, I, I just want to draw because we don't have any plus buy on this board, and what silver, what another silver does, it just prevents me from drawing, and I, I wouldn't want that to happen, uh, so I'm not gonna play the smugglers. Mm. All right. So now I, it's said that this ghost ship was at the end of the shuffle and kind of missed there. Right. Oh, okay, I can at least maybe... So I set aside the copper, which is nice. I can at least draw some some more, so that... Uh, uh, that should be definitely another ghost ship for me. This uh, top deck didn't matter because... I mean, I can do whatever cards uh, I can top deck because I draw one from the caravan and another one with Haven and it, it won't matter. Uh, let's uh, get more havens, and that's terrible. That's really bad. That uh, triple terminal collision. Yeah, I don't have this much uh, villages, but and I drew my bazaar dead. Pretty bad. All right, but that's what you get. That's the deck with no trashing. So uh, draw is gonna be uh, random. <laughs> And I don't expect uh, to draw the deck here with any kind of uh, consistency. I just get, well, should I take another native village? I'd rather get more havens. Gold for my opponent. Set aside a haven, which is less than ideal, but all right. Um, Probably need another bazaar. Alright, for the first time in the game the smuggler is going to be useful for me. 
because I will smuggle my bazaar back. Uh, I would like to smuggle it into the shuffle, but then I won't be able to play uh, this. Uh, I will run out of actions, so I'm gonna need to play Ghost Ship first, sadly. And oh, hey, I can I can draw further here. I'll just keep setting aside. So I already have a couple of covers on my native village mat. So the best thing about it is they are not in my deck now, and that's actually quite uh, quite good. Uh, so I took another bazaar. Let's get another ghost ship, and yeah. Mm. This haven being on the native village mat, I can't care less, it's not important. So my opponent did not buy anything, so that means mm, havening, havening, that's, this word does not exist. Uh, but putting uh, uh, smuggler aside uh, would be good in this turn, so I can haven the smugglers. Uh, set aside, another copper. That's that's good. And let's go with another bazaar. And now when I play in ghost ship every turn, my opponent will start to really struggle with uh, you know doing anything. Because uh, they have now three silvers, two gold, Saproans, and uh, all the navigators. They won't be really drawing uh, anything. Uh, let's let's steal this caravan. And uh, what did I buy last turn? Bazaar. Let's get another ghost ship. So I don't care about the economy all that much because between you know the coppers I gonna inevitably have and between the uh, like the silver and some money on bazaar I gonna have enough money. So uh, engine components like uh, bazaar and ghost ship, also known as smithy and village, you know. Um, are more important to me than anything else here, because uh, if not if not for the ghost ship attack, this might be a more moneyish kingdom that I wouldn't try to draw the deck all the, uh, every turn necessarily. But uh, I would just want to attack my opponent uh, every turn with a ghost ship, and you know because then they can't really do anything. They can't um, buy provinces with this kind of uh, thing. Uh, with the three card hands and uh, not the best three cards too. So what did they get? Smuggle to ghost ship. Perfect. Um, set something aside. Well, set aside the ghost ship, which is less than perfect, but oh well. Uh, anyway, we are doing great here. All right. So they smuggled a bazaar last turn, so I can smuggle it back, which is great. And hey, good news. We just uh, drew the deck here. So, yeah. Uh, ain't that great. Uh, I think it's about time to just go ahead and get the prawns. Well, uh, we are not gonna be able to draw in the deck forever because, uh, well, because we still gonna have a lot of, uh, you know, by adding those prawns, we're gonna destroy this fragile drawing engine. But uh, I. I would expect to keep attacking my opponent like every turn for the next few turns. And those caravans actually help. And the havens actually help. Because this, you know, saving the state uh, on the next turn, the state itself is not useful, but it what, it what it means is that you don't need to draw it the next turn, which is uh, in the important thing. Let's try to set something else aside. Sadly, it is a bazaar, and obviously it's a hidden miss, but, oh well. Mm, navigator, like, technically, it can be helpful in setting up the native village set aside, but in practice it's just really clunky. You 
you'd rather just uh, you know um, buy some actually nice cards and um, operate with them but when you can if if on this board was say a secret passage from dominion intrigue or um, some wishing well maybe from dominion intrigue or like something i don't know uh i would that allows you to top deck a card i or like know what's on your top, top deck i would definitely go for that because that's uh, that's really useful uh hey set aside the prize which is perfect uh what did he gain a duchy uh i don't want it <laughs> i mean i i can get it but uh at this point it doesn't really matter but i'd rather just not take it i i my goal is to end this game and it, it would be faster for me to just go on with the provinces also dutch is smugglable so they can take it back set aside a caravan so at some point we might just go ahead and pick all of this up Oh, hey, and apparently, uh, what did they take? A Haven. Well, great, I can play it this turn. Uh, actually, I should have been setting aside the Bazaar instead of playing it. That's, that's a mistake. And here I can set aside a Silver and still be able to buy a Bronze. So, yeah, that... I hope you can see uh, here by the example of this board that uh, here gold's, gold is a bad card because you don't you have enough economy without it and it just prevents you from drawing. So here we finally stole. Uh, it's okay though. Um, I still was able to put the couple of currents in play and, and play the ghost ship. So that's great. And uh, the, yeah, because the gains are very limited, the piles are not likely to run here. So we'll just need to go through all the provinces, which will take a bit of time here, but oh well. Um, sadly, didn't draw to eight here. So let's just get another ghost ship. They take a duchy. All right, we are very likely to, to draw here. Hmm, still, need, still want to draw more. Let's keep setting aside. Although at this, at this point, I might consider uh, picking up. Let's uh, haven the smugglers, because I ain't gonna use it this turn. Uh, I can't really smuggle the uh, haven the bazaar, because uh, then I won't be guaranteed to hit eight. So, all right, but we, we draw here, and that's great. Uh, let's smile. Let's haven the bazaar here, so we'll have this village for the next turn. Born gets an estate now. And I might. What I might do this turn, I might haven this native village if I don't need to play it, because then uh, the next turn I'm gonna have. You know, it's gonna. Mm, I'm gonna have a guaranteed very good draw there. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's do exactly that. Let's set aside the native village and set aside this ghost ship. Uh, I don't want this state, so I'm gonna play the smugglers. And yeah, this turn I'm gonna pick up every, all this junk from native village. And I have enough good cards down there so, so that uh, I'll. I'll definitely be able to buy the prize. So my opponent played smuggles, but there is nothing to smuggle there. All right, pick everything up. And uh, let's see, maybe we don't need to play the ghost ship and make my opponent uh, react. Yeah, good. So eight coins can buy a prize. All right, so Thanks for watching and see you next time.